Hello, we're Team Echo and we worked on a Lazy Cat project. My name is Anthony Troxel and I designed the PCB and was main support for integrating the rest of the design. My name is Brandon Myers and I worked on all the firmware that would be behind the state machine. My name is Mario Santiago and I did the battery um, firmware and also the, the soldering. My name is Justin Yao and I worked on the phone app using QT software. Okay, so first we're going to go over PCB layout. Uh, in the bottom area of the board, we have a voltage regulator, charge manager, battery plug, and USB-C port for charging the battery. Uh, on the right side of the board, we have a small chip for the accelerometer and support structures. Uh, and on the remaining section of the board we have the PSOC and the LED that we use for visual feedback. Uh, you'll notice that we have slots on either side of the board made for the cat collar so that we could test with our toy cat. The entire board was laid out on the top layer so as to preserve the bottom layer so it can be used as an extension for the BLE antenna. The overall goal of our project is to monitor the behavior of a pet, in our case a fat cat. And we do this by using PSOC, uh, BLD, uh, Android app, QT creator, and an uh, accelerometer. We have an accelerometer that sends in data through IPC to the PSOC. And we have a custom BLD service that sends notifications through Bluetooth to the, the Android phone and it displays a battery life in percentage and uh, the cat's status. This is our Lazy Cat state diagram. First we start, start off in the off state. From there we move into the active state. From the active state we can go into three different states. First, um, if the cat falls over sideways, it's too fat to get up and it moves into the too fat state. From there it can only move back into active if you go up to the cat and press the button to save the cat. Uh, in addition, it can move into the falling state. So if your cat has fallen out a window, it'll register that and move into the falling state. Um, it'll send an application to, or a, a notice to the application on your phone. And until you save that cat with that button, it'll stay in the falling state. Uh, in addition from the active state, if the cat hasn't been active for 10 seconds, it's being lazy. So we move into the lazy state. And we can move back out of the lazy state once the cat is shaken again, once it's moving. So here's an overview of the app we created using QT software. When opening the app, you will be greeted with the connecting menu where you will be able to connect to your cat's collar through Bluetooth. Pressing the blue button will begin the scanning process for the cat collar. Once your device has found the cat collar, you will then be prompted to connect to the device. Once you're connected, you will be taken to the main interface screen where you will be given information based on your cat's state. The notifications that are seen on this screen follow closely to that of our state machine. When your cat is lazy, it can go to an active state, and from the active state, it can either go to the lazy, too fat, or falling state. From the too fat and falling state, you will be warned that you should probably save your cat from danger. Once you find your cat and press the button on his collar, you will be notified that he has been saved and will then return to active mode shortly after. As you can see on the bottom of each of the screens, you can view the battery life of your cat collar and charge it if needed. Here is a demonstration of our app with our cat. First, I will start scanning for the device. After it has finished scanning, I will connect to the device. It will then take me to the main interface and tell me what state the cat is in. Right now, it is being lazy. Once the collar shakes, the cat will be in active mode. If the cat falls over while in active mode, it will then go into the too fat state. In this case, I will have to press the button on the collar in order to save the cat. Then the cat will return to active mode. We would like to thank TJ Rogers and Cypress Semiconductor for their support, and we hope you enjoyed our project.